Hello, welcome to GPS. Thought we'd just have a quick look at the full component build package. Got a really nice customer built car here that has just gone through IBA and we're just about to deliver it back to the customer. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to have a look at some of the features, some of the options that it's had, some of the little details around it, um, and explore what you get in the package and some of the options. So the full component build package um, is, the, is the ultimate self-assembly kit, is the idea. So it's split over five build stages, so you can build the car as you go, spec the car, add the options as you go. So you haven't got to decide everything right at the beginning, enabling you to evolve the spec and the car as you go. The idea of the component build was that the car comes on a build trolley, it's pre-panelled, so all the aluminium panels are fitted out the factory to ensure the best quality possible so you can start your build. We also have the option of full paint. So this particular car, we supplied it as a fully painted tub, um, and then that enabled the customer then to put all the wishbones on, all the corners on, engine, gearbox, interior, differential, wire looming, etc. Um, options he went for was the full paint with the addition of the stripe. We did the blue band on the headlamps, uh, black on the back, black painted diffuser, and painted center tunnels. It's got the two and a half litre Geotech, which is the standard engine we're doing now, uh, just over 200 horsepower and around 200 pound foot of torque, which offers awesome performance out of the box. Plenty of scope to tune further if you need to, but it's, it's pretty quick as it is. Running the five speed Mazda gearbox with a nice short shift, light and flywheel with standard 3.7 kilo, life yeah, and F88 ECU as well as standard. That's all integrated into the oil tem water temp, oil pressure and everything, so all your limp modes, safety modes are there. It's got all the functionality to have traction and launch control that can be added as and when if you want to. And it will do canvas to your instruments if you go for a um, AIMS type dash or similar. This particular car, we went with the ATR shock, which is our own alley monotube damper that we've designed for the Zero and other cars, but the shoeing is, is designed, is tuned for the car. Um, went for the uh, daytime running lights and it's got our brake kit on as well which is the 4 part 300mm floating disc brake upgrade. Went for interior, um, red stitching, so the stitching options on the seat um, are whatever you want, it's all in the price on the, on the complete build kit so it's just a, just a choice really of what stitching you want. Um, and again with the seatbelt colour, um, there's a choice on seatbelt colour. Um, this has got the standard harnesses. We also do the type with the aircraft type um, twist quick buckle, uh, which are quite nice, especially if you've got a jacket on and a coat and it just makes it easier getting in and out of the car. Um, we work with the option of a extra diagonal in the roll bar. Um, don't do too many of them, but we can do it as an option if you want. It just looks a little bit racier. Um, we've got carbon fibre, so carbon fibre side trims, crescents, and the dash. It's the Smith Instruments as standard with a choice of either black or chrome bezels, white or black face. Um, again, that's just a choice on when you spec your kit. Momo steering wheel, standard in the ultimate build. And then we've swapped the stalks out after IVA for the nice turned alley ones. We have run the bigger exhaust as standard on the car. So it's a two and a half inch silencer, two and a half reflector, 42 mil headers that are four two into one. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more mid-range torque we found from the engine and looks quite a bit nicer as well. Uh, new boot covers, and again that's all part of the kit, all your carpets are in the kit um, and the diffuser on the back. We'll take the bonnet off now and we'll have a little bit of a look in the engine bay, more technical detail on the engine specification and a few other features on the car. Right, so we'll have a look at the engine options and uh, a bit more technical on the engine. So it's the two and a half litre Geotech, which is the four cylinder one. Um, they're actually coming from America, um, brand new engines, mated to the Mazda 5 speed NC gearbox, again, brand new gearbox. So everything on the ultimate kit is new. Uh, it's running our ATR throttle bodies, that's standard. The bigger Bosch injector, so you've got plenty of headroom if you did want to do any future tuning. We've kind of future proofed everything with the, with the spec of the parts we put in there. We're running coil on plug, wasted spark. We've got the VBT on the inlet, um, all running full variable PWM control. Um, really interested on the VBT, we've actually found it gives you about 20 pound foot of uh, mid range torque over just running it as an on off. Um, makes a massive difference when you're driving it. 
Uh, alternator kit, that's all in, in with the package. It's all billet brackets, small 45 mil, 45 amp alternator. We've got two options on the alternator kit, a left and a right hand drive, so depending if you're in the UK or in the US or into Europe. Um, on the engine, we've got the um, oil, oil filter mounts move around. We've got the oil pressure, oil temp coming off that housing. It's also got everything ready in, should you want to add an oil cooler later, everything's all there ready. We've got our own billet clutch slave cylinder, um, which makes the pipe routing a lot nicer. We've got all the breather system, so it's all nice dash 10 fitting. Um, breather tank, Gen 2's got the battery moved down to the front. So we've got a really nice clean scuttle area and firewall, which looks a lot nicer. We're running swirl pot, a standard on all the cars um, with a Bosch fuel pump. Um, just ensures that you're never going to get any fuel surge or any issues, however hard you drive in, even on slicks on the track, you won't get a problem ever. Um, this particular car, the customer then specified all the dressing kits, so all the anodized parts on the engine. We've actually done in blue to match the paint scheme. Uh, so it's all the bolts on there, the alternator pulley, the water pump pulleys, the injector blanks and so on, um, oil, uh, coolant housing. They've all been done in matching colours. Um, just adds that extra little bit of detail. We can offer that as part of the kit. So if you want to specify all your colours anodising, um, it's an option on the list. The engine as standard is just over 200 horsepower, 200 pounds of torque, gets you well under four seconds to 60. The top out at around about 135, depends a little bit on diff ratio you go with, give or take a bit. Um, so it makes for an effortlessly quick car as standard. So the way the engine's set up with the Life F88 ECU, possibly slightly over spec what we're doing, but it's got all the hardware in there and everything to future proof the car. It's ideal on the road or on the track. Um, it's got all warm up phases in the ECU, so it won't allow you to get full power out of the engine or rev it hard until we get a certain oil temperature. It's got limp mode, should your coolant temperature get too high, or put it into a limp mode until you reset or it cools down to a set point. It's got oil um, safety systems in there, so it knows what oil pressure we should see at a given temperature and RPM. Anything outside of that window, it will cut the engine down, so it will save the engine, and so on. So it's all that technology built into the package. Oil coolers can be added later. Uh, we're running a 60 mil core dual pass radiator, as standard on the car, with a spell fan. Possibly slightly overkill, but for our customers that are in California and in the hot climates, we know it's going to work without any issue. So if you're, if you're in the UK and it's raining, you've got no problem. On the hottest summer day, you've got no issue. Going into Europe, um, you won't have any coolant issues. If you are going to do more track work with the car, um, especially on the longer surface now, I would suggest putting an oil cooler on, just to have a bit more oil capacity. It just takes the edge off the temperature, it just helps. Um, on the road, you don't tend to need it. If you hard track use, um, it's worth adding on for, the, for what little cost it is to put on. So, as on all the Zeros, um, we've got full independent suspension all around. So, double wishbone on the front, double wishbone on the back. On this particular one, we've got our ATR shocks, which are our own in house manufactured dampers designed for the car, shimmed and everything to suit and optimise the performance. Um, full aluminium, adjustable on the bottom, a lot lighter. This particular car has still got the standard Ford hub arm, but he's got the upgrade of our aluminium caliper. So, that's a four part. 300 mil floating disc, great. Saves a lot of weight, gives you better brakes, but it gives you a lot more feel. It's the feel and consistency that you really notice over the standard brakes. It's so much more precise, you really can you know, stop it. It's quite brutal on the brakes if you want it to be. Um, if you're gonna get on the track and stuff, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Um, we've got new little fittings, so on all the bolts now, rather than having a hex head bolt and a nut cover, We've now put our own dressing kit, so we're using a cancelled bolt and a nice aluminium insert, so it's got all the correct radius on for IVA, so you're not having to trim. So there's a few little tweaks and bits we've done on the car that just make IVA so much easier. That's all, all standard on the car. Okay, so looking at the interior of the car, in the component build you get all the carpets for all the interior and all the boot carpets. They're all CNC cut out ready, so it just makes them really easy to fit, um, comes with all the glue. 
Um, real nice quality carpet, same stuff um, GLR are using, so if it does get wet, it won't go mouldy or anything, it clings really easy and hard wearing. We've got um, our own seat, which we've designed for the car. Um, this is the standard seat in the car, really nice seat. We also have the option of the fiberglass seat, which is more for the race track day side of things. Uh, it's just an either or within the kit. If you go in with our own seat, you've got the option of having uh, different stitching colours. And we've also got the option of having heated seats as well, which is the pad in the bottom, pad in the back, and you've got two temperature settings on there. We've got on this particular car, carbon fibre side trims, carbon fibre dash. We've got the Smiths instruments. So the Smith instruments are standard on the car. They are um, a couple of options in terms of black bezel, chrome bezel, white face, black face, really nice gauges, look quite modern with white LED lit. When you start up, they do the sweep and all your warning lights are actually built into the um, taco. So it just makes the dash a lot cleaner. We then have all our auxiliary switches on the lower dash panel and the start button down there. Gear linkage, it comes with the remote gear linkage standard, so it's a nice billet machined um, extension. It moves it back a bit so it's in a nice position, more ergonomic to drive, and it also shortens the throw on it so it makes it a lot more precise to change. Um, in terms of interior space, there's quite a lot of room in there. It's a really nice wide pedal box. The pedals are adjustable up and down, left and right to an extent, so you can fine tune it. You can also adjust the angle of the seat. Lowered floor is standard on all the cars now, and all the holes are already in the floor, so it just drops straight in, so it makes it a lot easier to build. We've then got carbon fibre, as I've said. The back panel has now the new boot covers, and then all inside the boot is carpeted, so you've got quite a large boot area within the car. So inside the boot, you've got quite a large area in there. So more than enough space to um, take a bag for a weekend or two helmets. If you're going on a track day or anything, there's a surprising amount of space in there. Um, there's a little bit of room behind the seats as well for some stuff. And if your passenger isn't too tall, there's room in the passenger footwell, just to put a bag in as well. This has got our standard windscreen. On the we also have the option of a heated screen, should you wish to fit one. Um, it is a requirement in certain countries. Um, particularly Norway and the colder climates have a heated screen and we can offer that as an option. Um, that's really the basics of the component build. Um, it's broken down into five stages of the build so you can choose the options on each stage. First stage is basically your, your chassis option. Am I going with a sports chassis or the GT chassis? The GT chassis offers a little bit more width in the cockpit over the standard. The standard though is quite wide. Um, anyway, as far as the seven goes. Um, your second package is your bodywork. You have the first two packages and then look to go to paint if you are going for the painted option. You have the phase three, then is all your carpets, your wiring looms, the diff, the prop shaft, all the rear end. When you start at the back of the car and the build goes forward. Phase four is your engine and gearbox um, and all the throttle bodies and all the engine associated bits, exhaust system and so on. Then your final stage five is all your front suspension, your front wheels, your windscreen, the final finishing bits to complete the car. Um, all the cars come on a build trolley, so you the cars up in the air on a build trolley, so it makes it really safe and secure and gets it at the optimum height to build on, and then it can just be lifted off at the end um, once you're ready to put it on its wheels. So this car is very similar in terms of spec to our demonstrator. So if you do want to come up to the factory, have a go in one, have a ride, see what you think, and have a closer look, um, you can do. Uh, the only real difference is we've got our alley hub on our demonstrator, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, but we've always got several cars of different specs in to have a look at, as well as the uh, master options as well.